Hey guys, so um, I don't know if you're like me, but you probably get emails from your Squarespace website that's just filled with like gibberish because it's just, you know, random spam that you're getting. Um, I mean, I myself get excited when I get emails from my website thinking, you know, it's a sale or it's a new possible lead. And then I see that spam and it's kind of, you know, saddening a little bit. So I'm going to show you today how to uh, prevent um, that spam. It'll prevent most of it, um, there are some that get through, but usually the ones that get through are actual like people that are just entering it in saying, hey, do you know, do you want to work with our company or something? Um, but it will filter out, um, you know, all of the emails that you get from, you know, bots that are just trying to get your information. Um, so getting by getting you to reply to the email or something like that. So here's what you do. So we're, what we're going to do is we're going to use a free service by Google. It's called ReCAPTCHA. Um, I'm going to put a link to that in the description. So what we're going to do first off is come to yeah this URL, which like I said, is going to be in the description. Um, we're going to fill in this field according to our website. So for the label, I'll just put in the name of the website. Um, I know the example says, you know, the domain, but I just use the name. So plugins for square, for example, and here you would just put in your business name. Um, for now, Squarespace only supports reCAPTCHA V2, um, not V3. So make sure it's you pick the second one and leave this one ena like enabled by default not these two and then under domains we're going to go ahead and put um your domain without the http or https or www so for me it'll be plugins for square.com and then you just hit enter on your keyboard and then it'll be it'll go like this um the other thing is you click accept um you don't need to send alerts this will just send an alert to you know a like for example, whatever email you have listed, um, so which is this email right here, um, if it detects, you know, a lot of suspicious traffic, which I just keep it off. I mean, just do the job. I don't need to know about it. So then you click submit. Then you're going to get, you know, uh, the site key and the secret key. So don't close this. We're going to go back to your website. Um, we're going to go to let me go back here. So starting from the beginning, we're going to go to settings and then go down to advanced near the bottom. And then we're going to go to external API keys, the very first one. Then we're going to go over here, click on copy site key. And then you can just right click here and click paste, or you can just, you know, control V or command V. Then come over here, copy the secret key, come over here, paste it, and then hit save. And it looks like nothing happened, but I promise you something did happen. So we're going to go over to contact, which is where I have my form. Um, so I've actually already added it. That's why you're seeing this, but what you would do is you would click on edit on the form. Um, and then you'll go to captcha. Now this is an option that wasn't there before. It'll only come after you've put in the secret key and the site key. So you're going to go here, click on add Google reCAPTCHA. You're going to either do light theme or dark theme. Um, right now you can't see the difference. Um, but I'll show you why in a second, but basically here's what it'll look like. So here is what the dark theme would look like. So right here, and then the light theme looks exactly like this. Um, so I'm going to leave it on dark just because I don't want it to match the rest of my um, input. And then we hit apply. Then we hit save. And then you'll see that on the back end, it says invalid domain for site key. And that's because um, on Google, we told it that the domain that's going to be requesting uh, the key is plugins for square. But when I'm on the back end, it's actually, you know, whatever you have set up here. So how you can fix this is, well, actually, you don't even need to fix it. You can just leave it alone because nobody's going to be on the back end of your website. Um, but I myself hate seeing error messages. So I would just go back to this page, um, which you haven't closed yet, hopefully. Um, if you do, you can still get back to it by clicking the link in the description. Then we're going to go to go to settings. And then we're going to come down to domains. And we're going to also enter this domain without the HTTPS, no trailing slash, hit enter. And then you'll see that there's a new option, security preference. I'll just leave it on, um, you know, the middle. Uh, more secure means it'll ask more people the questions. But it, to be honest, it, when I get it, it is a little bit annoying. So you want to make sure it's only asking people that it knows for sure is a bot or it thinks very likely uh, it, it is a bot. So you don't want to, you know, make it more secure. You just want to kind of leave it in the middle. Um, then leave the other ones exactly how it is. So all we did was add the new domain, hit save. Then if we come back here. Let me just go to, for example, oh, let me go to plugins and then let me come back to contact. And now you'll see that this appears how it should. Um, so this is how it'll appear when Google thinks it's a bot. Um, if it's just you on the front end, most likely it's not going to ask. It does sometimes, but I mean, it's very simple. 
like you see here, it didn't even ask me to click on any images because as soon as I clicked it, it's like, oh, you know what? This person is, you know, it's an actual person based on their history. So I'm not even going to ask them any questions. So it just verified me right away. Whereas if I go into incognito mode, right now, Google can't tell anything about me. So if I go into oh, plugins, so if I go to contact, and if, there we go. So yeah, now it thinks, Hey, you know what? This might be a robot because there's no browsing history. So it looks like, you know, they just opened up the computer and came straight to the contact page. So then it asked me, you know, pick all traffic lights, which if you're a human is very easy. You just pick the three and then pick all crosswalks and there you go. Verifies I'm a human and that's it. So now that should work by default for, um, your forms. Just make sure you go to each of your forms, go to that captcha, um, tab. So again, right here and click on add Re Google recapture and that's it. You should uh, now be protected from all that spam.